Hello, Den Melly again, and I will be doing a reading for Divinity 06. Um, she's asked me for a love reading. I will be using the Circle of Life tarot. And um, let's start with my little bells. <laughs> um, want to basically set the mood and have clarity for this reading. Everything that Divinity wants to know, I hope that um, is, clear, is cleared in this reading. Okay, so let's begin the shuffle. And I'll be using a spread that I got from the internet called Cronada Spread. It's a past, present, future spread and it's nine cards. I put the name on the uh, website. Um, I'm sorry, of the uh, reading, the type of spread that I'll be using. Let's begin one. I'm going to read the first card. And this is the present, actually. I'm sorry. No. I'm doing this. Yeah. This is the, the, the present one, the future. So I'm going to put them actually how they belong. Okay, let's start with the path. Okay, so I could get all cleared up here. There's a lot of cards. These cards are kind of big, so. Alrighty, the path. We start from the bottom. Okay, the path we have the Three of Wands. Okay, here we have um, a little bit of um, new challenges that were present in your path, in your love life. Um, as we see here, there's a person, there's just like basically waiting for something to happen okay uh, so it looks like you've been waiting for something um, it's a time of waiting but the three of wands also looks at looking at the horizon for something better to come along um, so that's what this card is saying okay the next card in your past is the death card alright the death card is basically um, endings so uh, there was an ending, because this is what this card is indicating. There was an ending recently, or some new, be you know, an ending of some sort, and there's a new beginning in your past, in your love life. And um, as we see here, the crescent moon, uh, basically things have been changing a lot um, in your recent past. So that's your love life in your past, um, basically waiting for something to happen, but at the same time, there was some kind of endings and new beginnings. Okay, the next card I'm getting is the Knight of, of Wands. Okay, this card basically shows a person here, and this could even be you, um, just like opening their arms to the universe. And the colors that I see in this card are very pink, very like a light rose color. So embarking and opening your, your you know your life up and your it looks very very positive it looks like good news was ca also came recently that has enlightened you very much okay but in general in your past I do see endings of some sort in a, maybe in a relationship that you had or there was some kind of you know final to a situation, an ending, a conclusion, but there was also a new beginning, and this was something that you really wanted, because I do see the three of wands here, and this is looking at new opportunities, looking at new options, exploring, and the knight of wands, as you see here, you're here opening your arms to something else, basically, so that's your past, your present, okay, is up here, so... Let's begin with the Knight of Chalices. Good news, basically. I see you again. A lot of knights in your cards. Very much meaning 
that um, good news has been coming to you, a lot of speed, a lot of communication. And as you see here, there's some a person here, a woman, uh, pouring water on top of this turtle. So things have been coming to you. Things have been flowing in a good matter and a lot of speed, a lot of action, okay? So good news in that area, in your, in your present. I do see you very happy about something in your love life recently. Again, I have a three of pentacles. Also in your present, um, three of pentacles meaning work, work to be done. Um, if you're in a relationship right now, it looks like there has to be some work done, but it looks very positive, okay? And basically, it's also saying that um, there is, like, good fortune coming in your future, okay? Because this is a very positive card. The next card in your present is the Judgment card. And this card talks a lot about past, okay? Um, a lot of transformation again. We have the planet Saturn here, which is always a, a planet of a little bit of obstacles, a little bit of delays. So there has been some minor delays in your recent past. However, it looks like there is something or someone from your past that is looking or thinking about going back with you, um, is contemplating on that idea. Okay? So that's your present. So we basically have good news, uh, a little bit of work to be done. If you're contemplating or in a relationship or thinking about one, there has to be some minor work done, like all relationships. Um, but it looks very prosperous. And there's someone in your past thinking about you. The future, we have the devil card in reverse, okay, which is a good card in to be have in reverse, okay. Um, basically, it's saying that any restrictions that you may be having, any limitations, are going to be unblocked, are going to open up, finally. Any delays, anything that's been holding you up in your love life, finally that blockage is going to be removed, okay? The next card in your future, in your love life, is the Seven of Swords, okay? And I'm getting it in reverse, because it's upside down here. And what we see here is a woman basically a fighting back battling a situation. Um, in, in reverse, it's totally the opposite. This situation that we have here, any blockages, any restrictions, any delays, uh, communication issues are all going to be unblocked. And finally, you're going to get a clear view, a, s a clear sensation of the whole picture that you've been wanting to have for a long time. Another card in your future is the Eight of Wands. And the Eight of Wands is always a card of basically they're called the arrows of love okay they're called communication their speed things are finally going to start moving to your favor so everything looks very positive in your future with your love life finally you're going to get and we have a lot of pink like a rose color and green so a lot of prosperity a lot of abundance in your love life all right um the next card. Actually, we're done here, but I'm going to read it in a different matter now. And the way I'm going to read this is these over here are going to represent the past. So I'm going to start from bottom up. And again, three of wands indicating looking at new options. And you were looking at those new options because the relationship of the person that you were with, there has been some kind of restrictions. So the devil card comes out here. Okay? And then, again, there, there you notice and you have had some other opportunities that have come along in your love life, which look very prosperous, look very positive, this new person that you're thinking about. Okay, the next is the present. And the present, again, is saying a lot of transformations, endings, um, with this situation, the blockage, some trickery, some deceit, some lies that have been occurring. Uh, basically, there's going to be you know, a good ending to that. And then the the future, again, we have very good here. And it's saying um, good news is going to be coming. You're going to have to be receiving good news regarding love, because this is always good news regarding love. And um, you're also going to be hearing from a person from your past. And this is your reading. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have any questions, please let me know.